Chick One. I'm a little bit under the weather because even though it's fall, it is freezing. So I have the runny nose going on, the congested, the sore throat. Yeah. Anyway, I have a, a wedding to go to tomorrow. So I'm going to do a weave, but I'm going to use Milky Way Fab 8 um, series. This is Snow White 1B. This is the, now this here is only twelve dollars. This is cheap weave. Cheap weave you should only keep in your hair for about a week, two weeks, maybe three weeks if it still holds up. It is human hair, but it's not good quality hair. It was only twelve ninety nine. So I'm just this is just for occasion, and I'll keep it in for two weeks, maybe three if it holds up. And I'm using a closure. Now I have never used a closure before. I'm using weave. It's called weave closure. Uh, human here. This is Harlem one two five. It was only around twenty two dollars. So since I'm only keeping this um, Snow White in for about two weeks, I did not want to spend too much money on a closure. Um, since this isn't lace front, it says it was um, hand tie made, ultra monofilament, monofilament, I don't know what monofilament is, but this is not lace, that's why, so, that's why it is so cheap. Usually, this is the bag. It feels like plastic, basically. Here it feels like, a, I don't know, like a net, and here it feels like plastic. So what I did, um, sorry with the sniffling, it's a little under the weather, but I just want to share with you, you know, what I'm doing to my hair. So the reason why I bought a closure is because since I am transitioning, my leave out is going to be really puffy and I don't want to add too much heat to my leave out, so... Because the last time I, I would get weaves done and I would add a lot of heat to my leave out, my, my leave out would break a lot. The thing is about this closure, to make it look realistic, I'm going to use a tweezer and I probably will pluck a little bit of the hairs near the part. The reason why I want to do that is because when you naturally part your hair, yeah, another reason why I want to use the closure is because I don't want my leave out to start getting all poofy and start looking all tacky. <laughs> like, and then I, I don't want to keep having to add heat in the middle of the week because it's like, won't, won't be sleep. But anyway, see, when you part your actual hair, this is how the part looks. Like, there's a good amount of space there. With this closure, even when it lays flat, there's not that much space. It doesn't look realistic. So I'm going to use a tweezer that you would use to like tweeze your eyebrows and just take just a little bit out for it to get more of a natural look. And then I will probably um, cut this part. And I'll just leave a little bit out here just so that this won't get all poofy, you know. If my sides get poofy, I could kind of like probably bobby pin these close to the side so it's not so obvious but when this get poofy oof when your leave out doesn't blend in with the weave it look kind of, it looks tacky so anyway that's what i'm going to do today and i'll be back with the end result stay tuned sorry for the noise in the background hurricane sandy is currently going on outside it's really bad um was supposed to go to work today but i Trains are shut down. MTA Transit is shut down. So I'm staying home. Um, so I've had this um, Milky Way Snow White here in for about a week and a half. I'm going to take it out tonight and just do my hair. Start it tonight, finish it tomorrow since I'll be home from work again. I was going to wait to the weekend, but it's best that I do it now that I have this extra time on my hands and I can instead of doing it on the weekend so I've it, it holds up pretty good this is cheap weave this was only 12 to 15 dollars I only keep in cheap weaves for about two three weeks maximum after three weeks if you keep in a cheap weave it starts looking dry it starts getting matted it starts getting knotted it looks like a hot mess on your damn head <laughs> anyway so this is the um 
had it in for about a week and a half. It's still holding up pretty good, but I'm I'm ready to take it out. Um, so it looks good, and this is the closure I used, which I talked about earlier. I put clip clip-ons. I sewed them on the rim, like two clip-ons, and I clipped it in the part and then I the holes that you saw on the side I used those holes to sew the rim of the closure also part of the rim of this quick weave this is a quick weave I glued the tracks onto a stocking cap I cut it on my part put clear nail polish on the rim so that the stocking cap wouldn't rip and then I just um, pinned the sides and I just sewed the stocking cap um, sewed it in the holes of the rim of this closure anyway I know that sounds really complicated that's the best I can describe it um, for the closure here usually um, in the morning I just put a little bit of concealer and also holding spray underneath to really get it to stay down and just a little bit of concealer dab it in and it blends in nicely you still can kind of see the crease here but with the concealer it blends it in pretty well like good enough for me um so I'm going to take this out so you can see exactly what I did but you can still rock a cheap weave and a cheap closer closure and still make it look good so this is the end results and it's pretty nice I had to pin curl the front because it was drooping and it was I would have to brush it a lot because it would get knotted and matted but this looks pretty realistic so again um, I'm gonna take this off and then I'll come back just to show you how I did it all right so if I'm looking here I'm also trying to look in the mirror too so I basically cut since I did sew it um, I sewed it on the top so you see this was the rim and you see it's the stocking cap I glued so I glued all the tracks on the stocking cap like a quick weave cut it in the middle for so the closure can fit and then I let it dry and I took it off and now I put it back on and what I did you see these little holes here I sewed this basically with you know weave thread within the holes and that's how it was able to stay and I did that on both sides. So the holes sewed it on the holes of the closure. So I, you know, I cut the thread out so now I can take it off. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, this was the inside since I glued all the tracks on a stocking cap. Another quick tip, when you cut your stocking cap, if you want to part, if you want to actually leave your real hair out or have a closure, it's a good idea to use clear nail polish and put it on the rim of the stocking cap so that the stocking cap won't um, won't tear or rip further. I remember when I was a kid, my family would tell me to put like clear nail polish on your runs if you if you get a run of your stocking. So I thought the same concept logically it would work for this too. Um, all right, and here's the um, closure. So basically. Let me take this out so you can see how I did this too. Oh, I need to be careful. It's caught on my hair. Ah. Okay. Whew. So here's the closure. I curled it. Pen, I curled it, put holding, spe holding spray. I curled it with a hot comb. I put holding spray and then I pin curled it and let the curls hold overnight. And then I curled it, pin curled it every single night so the curls will hold. So this is what I did. I sewed on two um, clip-ins. So that would be easy for me to clip it in and clip it out where my part is supposed to be. And that's the um, concealer that I put. So these are just tips on how you can do a quick weave with a closure. Or, yeah, just tips to give you different ideas next time. I'm going to do a regular weave on a net with a closure instead because I want to be able to reach my actual scalp and spray it with water and oil because my scalp was getting really, really itchy and my hair feels really, really dry. So the main reason why I took this out earlier too is because I'm in, I'm in dire need of a protein treatment and a trim. So I'm going to 
flat iron my hair again to give myself a protein treatment and a trim. I am currently transitioning to natural. I realized the best way for me to do that is to just not do a lot with my hair. So I'm going to do this and then most likely this weekend I might put in another um, quick weave and um, closure or I might do flat twists or do figure out something with my hair. But because it's been raining so much that's another reason why I've been doing quick weave. Usually when it rains a lot I do quick weaves or I just do weaves. When it's in the winter time I do weaves for like good quality Remy hair, good quality hair, keep it in for six weeks or so. But, you know, so hopefully if the weather gets better, I can just rock flat twist or something. But again, this is your girl, Urban Chick One. I hope these tips help you on your hair journey. And if you're a weaveologist or a weave diva, I hope these tips help you too, especially if you don't have money to spend on like $50 or $80 good quality closure. You can use um, a cheap one and just make it work. Hope those tips help. Again, it's your girl, Urban Chick One, and I will see y'all later. Stay tuned. Bye. Acho que não vou deixar você sair da minha vida. Sei que você.